You know, it's crazy every time I watch a movie like uh, Catherine Calls Birdie or Game of Thrones and just realize that it was a very effed up society back in the day. Oh my god, England. Crazy. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's Amazon Prime original movie review of Catherine Calls Birdie. The film that's based off the book from Karen Cushman and is directed by Lena Dunham. So based off the book from Karen Cushman, uh, Catherine Calls Birdie is of course a story about Catherine who is a young girl in this kind of whatever called desolate world that is of England at the time. Uh, she of course is played by Bella Ramsey and her father who's played by Adam Scott and her mother who's played by Billy Piper uh, are trying to get her to wed so that they can actually have some land, some money. It's very much what the life was like back in England of that century where young people would marry old people or old people would marry young people and uh basically she has she tells us in a voiceover world you know in the wheelings and dealings of like their her friends and family like people like sophia okonedo and of course isis hainsworth uh dean charles chapman and people like that joel elwin who plays her, un her uncle that she's very infatuated with and basically it's a uh, coming of age story it's about the world that these people inhabited from a young teen's point of view and how kind of distressing and strange and weird but also pressing that matter can be so basically bella ramsey has to hold a lot of weight on her shoulders as she tells the story about basically her trying to be uh force wed into another situation like a you know a bride and husband husband type situation. So Lena Dunham at this point has garnered a pretty successful career. Yes, she's made a couple of things that aren't that great, but she of course, you know, won Emmys for girls. She of course did the show Camping. She uh, is an interesting director, writer, creator because she's somebody that has a very strong voice when it comes to female leads and the ideas of the world that they represent. But she's also a director that chooses projects that are kind of offbeat a lot of times. Apparently Sharp Stick isn't a very good movie, but it's a movie that has a lot of passion put towards it and now we have a story of Catherine Com Calls Birdie which is unlike anything we ever see of this era of England where it tells the perspective of a young teenage girl who is dealing with the the psychological drama and the kind of world she represents while doing it in a very you know silly and very kind of strange look that you know young kids go through so uh, this is a movie that I heard a lot about that I heard was actually pretty decent and now it's premiering on Amazon I was able to see this early thanks to you know the company that sent it to me and so for the honest review of this movie I really enjoyed this movie to be fairly honest it's one of the biggest surprises of the year this movie really garners a really interesting perspective in what it's trying to do and I do think Bella Ramsey is going to be very popular when she you know when she starts to gain more and more of a career of herself because she is fantastic in this movie she absolutely is she of course started out in Game of Thrones as Lady Mormont and was great in that and of course she's going to be playing Ellie in the last Last of Us adaptation but I think what works about her character is is the fact that you know it's very relatable character to a lot of young girls it's a character that has all the kind of intricacies of what young women go through as they change from young girls to women the idea of what the parents think that are the best for them in that situation and how she kind of is very headstrong but also very loving of her family and she, of course she has a very much an infatuation for uncle george which is a really creepy factor but of course is how those how the world works back in that day and i think that this story with the friends and the family and how they relate to one another and how blinded they are sometimes to the situation she Catherine is able to kind of uh, move through that kind of interesting ideology interesting concept to kind of push back and that's why the movie's called Catherine Calls Birdie because she's like a birdie she wants to fly free she wants to not have to be part of the kind of norms and ideologies of this world and it really shows in how she talks and she's very quippy and she's very you know she's always trying to you know destroy the, the situation at hand by doing crazy and over the top things I love in this movie when she starts kind of uh, being forced into these you know relationships and she finds a way out of it by doing these crazy and over-the-top scenarios and it just kind of it becomes a movie about a young girl just kind of wrestling with you know not only the world that she's being presented but the world she wants to present in herself and that's just a really powerful thing and like i said it's very relatable because there are like i said there are things in this movie that will relate to women in general just just in the nature of everything that they have to go through and uh once again you know lena dunham is a very powerful voice in this world that is you know 
female empowerment and stuff like that. So it really does feel that she was able to take a concept and a book and idea that once again is an adaptation and really make it her own. Like I said, if you watch Girls and stuff like that, you'll know how she likes to write and she does a very nice job with it. And she's very realistic in her approach to everything while also creating fun. So it's interesting to see that her one movie, Sharp Stick, was not very well received. And to come to something like this where it really feels like she has a good head on her shoulders as a director and writer. And once again, the cast and crew in this movie are all on board. They're all fantastic. Even, you know, the stuff they have to do and how they have to present themselves, it really feels like a really realistic approach with a very fun, fluffy, fantastical feel with a lot of cool storylines and stuff like that. So, so with that said, to kind of close out this review, definitely give this movie a shot. It is on Amazon Prime, so most of you guys have it, so check it out. It's definitely something that, you know, I really can't find any fault with, to be fairly honest. It doesn't, you know, there are things in here that like you're like, oh, God, I can't believe they went there. But, you know, it is of the time of the world that they live in, and it's a very gorgeous movie. So definitely check it out. I definitely recommend it. And uh, once again, I think Bella Ramsey is going to be a star later on in her career. So with that said, that is my take on Catherine Calls Birdie. Thank you so much for watching. In the comments below, uh, are you interested in seeing this movie? Have you read the book? What do you think of it overall? If you did see this movie, tell me what you think of it as a movie. Uh, but with that said, thank you so much. If you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.